This is a guide on replacing the front assembly on the Apple iPhone SE. For the installation process, we'll need the following tools. Heat gun, suction cup, plastic pick, small tri-wing screwdriver, small Phillips screwdriver. The front assembly consists of the frame, the glass digitizer, and the LCD screen. You will need to replace the entire front assembly if any of these components are broken. Turn the phone off by holding the power button and the up volume buttons and confirming the shutdown on screen. Remove the two pentalobe screws at the bottom of the phone. Use a heat gun to warm the adhesive around the perimeter of the iPhone. Place a suction cup just above the home button. Insert a plastic pig between the display assembly and the main body. Gently move the plastic pick around the perimeter, separating the display assembly from the main body. Once separation is achieved, open the phone to a right angle. Now we have access to the small metal shield which secures the battery connector and two front assembly connectors. The shield is held in place with four Phillips screws. Most screws in this iPhone are different sizes so you'll need to keep in mind the positions of each screw. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove the four screws. Remove the metal shield. Use a plastic pick to disconnect the battery and bend its lead away. Next step is to open the camera connector at the top of the iPhone. The connector is secured with another small metal shield. Remove three Phillips screws holding the shield in place. Unfortunately, in this case, the third Phillips screw is completely stripped, but we're still able to bend it away to disconnect the connector. Using a plastic pick, open the three connectors attaching the display assembly and set the main body aside. Now we have to transfer some important components from the old front assembly onto the new one, namely, the front camera and the speaker box, the big LCD shield and the home button. Start with the home button. There are four tri-wing screws that hold a small metal shield in place. Remove the screws and put the shield aside. Using a plastic pick, open the home button connector. Using a plastic pick, gently pry off the glued flex cable. Remove the home button. Next step is to remove the upper metal shield which is covering the speaker box ribbon cable with the front camera and the proximity sensors. Remove the three Phillips screws. Set the shield aside. Remove two screws holding the speaker box. Set the speaker aside. Remove another Phillips screw and using a plastic pick, gently separate the ribbon cable with the front camera and the proximity sensors from the frame. Set it aside. Now we can remove the big metal shield. There are three tri-wing screws on the right side and three tri-wing screws on the left side. Remove the screws. Using a plastic pick, detach the big metal shield from the flex cables underneath. Set it aside. Set aside the old screen assembly. At this stage, we're ready to transfer these components onto the new front assembly. Take the new replacement part and place it on the desk. Press down the front assembly cables and cover them with the big metal shield. Replace six tri-wing screws, three on the left side and three on the right side. Take the ribbon cable and carefully guide each component into its slot. Replace the one Phillips screw. Replace the speaker box. Secure it with two Phillips screws at the bottom. Guide the camera into its slot and cover it with the small metal shield. Secure the shield with three Phillips screws. Next step is to replace the home button. 
insert the button with its cable into the hole from the front. Make sure that the home button cable goes under the connector. Reconnect it to the front assembly. Cover the button and its connector with the small metal shield and secure it with four tri-wing screws. This is the waterproofing adhesive. It comes in convenient plastic sheets shaped to the perimeter of the phone. Separate the back plastic and apply the shape to the perimeter of the phone. Remove the second back plastic sheet. Then carefully remove the remaining strips of plastic, making sure that the adhesive is positioned properly on the edge. Now we can reconnect the front assembly to the main body. Position the front assembly at the right angle to the main body, aligning it to the top edge. Reconnect the camera cable. Reposition the display assembly along the right edge and reconnect the other two connectors. Reconnect the battery. Caution, it is very important not to force any connectors. All connectors are very fragile. At this point, the phone can be tested. Press the power button and if the startup graphics appear, the screen is connected properly. Shut down the phone. Bend back the top metal shield and secure it with two Phillips screws. Replace the second metal shield and secure it with four Phillips screws. The top edge of the display assembly has latches. So keeping that in mind, place the front assembly at the top edge and snap it into the case by going along the perimeter and pressing on the edges. Replace two pentalobe screws at the bottom. Turn the iPhone on and we're done.